Oh, we're in the sun for a Looks pretty good. Yeah, this is the boat we're doing. All right, let's go test it out. All right, ready for test? All right, we're out and we're moving. So we know the propeller does something. That's a good thing. <laughs> Um, what do I want to test? Oh, I brought my amp meter so I can check how many amps it's using at the different speeds. Oh man, I've got some excellent news. So I just checked my my amp meter basically by taking the contacts and putting them against the switch. Same as I've done before. Previously, my low speed was 18 amps. It's now 14. So that's a pretty good savings. The medium speed, I don't know what it was before. But now, now it's 20. I think it was like 26 or something. It was definitely more than 20. So it's, right now my medium speed is using just over the power my low speed used before. And then my fast speed only uses 35 amps, which is amazing because before it was using 50. So that's like, that's like two thirds, a little, little over two thirds. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Let me just check that I'm still getting reasonable speed. I hope I'm still getting good speed on this. I can just do it. All right, this is low speed. Does this seem much different than before? Seems about the same. The boat is making less noise too. Yeah, I think, I think the propeller that I took off was too high pitch. It was cavitating. All right, let me just aim us straight, not into the wind. Yeah, this is good enough, it's not much wind right now. Okay, medium speed. Let's do speed check. That's pretty good. And... Well, the first thing I notice is it sounds a lot smoother. It's definitely higher RPM than before. And uh, I don't think we're going any slower. I mean, not noticeably anyway. Maybe a, maybe a tiny bit slower, but uh, at two thirds the power of before, that's awesome. Yeah, we're we're going pretty good. My my hand in the water is always my my speedometer. I can get a pretty good idea of how fast I'm going by getting the water up to my first knuckle and then seeing how high it splashes. Okay, now talk. You can't talk while I'm talking, you know. I mean, you can, but it won't work. Okay, what's what's up? You want me to steer? All right. Dude, this is great. I think the new pro new propeller is excellent.
got it. Uh, okay, we turn off the, the solar panels. A little bit slower. Okay, listen for it when we turn the solar panels on. It'll be a little bit faster. Ready? you know, two of the solar panels charge the batteries and the other two are connected through the switch to the motor. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah and if we turn off the... Well, right now we're going to get basically nothing because the sun's behind a cloud. But we can actually drive a little bit with just the sun. Oh, we're still moving. But yeah, the sun gets gets into that blue part of the sky again we'll go a little faster anyway let's go fast about the major power reduction. Like 18 amps down to 14 is a big deal, but at top speed, like 50 amps down to 35. That is a huge difference. Oh, it's so good. Let's just turn this off for a second. I just did a, I just checked one other thing, which was I turned the boat on full speed with the two extra solar panels connected and uh, checked with the amp meter. It was only 32 amps. Isn't that great? Oh, it's great. You're not entirely sure what I'm talking about, but it is great. We want we want to use we want that number to be as low as possible. Because the lower that number is, the amperage, the the less electricity we're using. And if we're going the same speed using less, less electricity, that means we can go farther, which is great. This boat probably has like a like a 35 to 40 mile range at top speed. Lower speed can go a lot further. Anyway, okay, let's go play some more. Wait a minute, you know what, dude? I just thought of something else. Huh. I think this motor, hold on, let me just check. Yeah, 39 amps, this is a 39 amp motor. That means we're actually underpowering the motor by a little bit, which means it's not gonna get hot. Before, the only thing that kept me from driving all the way to town or back from town at full speed was the heat, because the one time I tried it, the one time I tried it, after about an hour, maybe a little over an hour, eh, about an hour, the motor was really hot and it started smoking a bit. So, uh, and, but I was I was definitely over overpowering the motor at that point. And if we're only using like 35 amps on a 39 amp motor, and it's rated for continuous use, we should be fine. It should be able to go. Yeah, it should be able to get all the way to town full speed. I'm still going to be nervous the first time I do it because I smoked the motor one time. <laughs> That's actually, I, the, the motor I smoked is now on the bandsaw, you know the one that's on the floor? The one in here is a new motor, I just switched it because I felt like it. Okay, let's go play some more. Whew, good job propeller, nice. Man, I am really happy with that, like really happy. I want to do a bit of quick math. So in here, I've got this nice fancy battery, an SOK sock, 24 volt, that 361, that's just, I don't know what that is. But it's a 24 volt, 100 amp hour battery, lithium. I am super happy with it, by the way. It's been really, really good. Um, and at 100 
amp hours, that means I can go three hours at full speed, roughly. Well, if it's like 35 amps, you know, just under three hours. But if there's also a bit of sun helping me and I can get that down to 32 amps, you know, three hours and a little bit, so about three hours. And it's like an hour and a half trip to town. At least that's, that's my estimate. I think it's actually less than that at full speed. Um, but if I can do that trip in an hour and a half, that means I can get all the way there and back on one battery charge. Which I don't plan to ever do, because I don't want to run the battery down that much. Um, but that's, that's good. That's good to know.